Well, Movember has become the single biggest source of funding that the Prostate Cancer Foundation has ever had. And what it's meant for us is we've been able to take what used to be a little bit of research that we used to do and now have a huge research program that actually covers the entire country. Uh, this is one of the great things about Movember. Because we've got this huge injection of cash and it's been coming in every year and it's going to come in this year again, what we've been able to do is actually make some long-term commitments. So in the past, we would possibly only do funding for one year, two years, but now with our Young Investigator Scheme, it's $125,000 a year for up to four years, actually give these young researchers some great continuity in their careers. The message I want to get out to all the Mo Bros and Mo Sisters is a great big thank you from everybody at the Prostate Cancer Foundation. What you're doing in November is making a real difference to the way that we are able to treat prostate cancer in this country. The research is around two themes. Uh, the first is cancer stem cells and the second are drugs that kill cells. Cancer stem cells, um, are, that's what we call them, um, what it means to you is they are the cancer initiating cells, uh, the root of the tumour if you like. And uh, we need to know what these cells are and how to identify them because they are often resistant to initial therapies. Ultimately, of course, what we want to do is find a good drug that can kill cells and then pull out the cancer stem cells or the cancer initiating cells and see whether any of these drugs can actually tackle them. Movember and PCFA have had an influence on us in two, two ways. Firstly, uh, the money that we receive from PCFA supports um, particularly supports young people and that's very notable to us because those grants last for four years um, and that gives some enduring legacy to um, research in prostate cancer where young people can be trained by people like me and then you what we call a, you generate the task force for future generations and that's terribly important because this is not a problem that you will solve uh, immediately. And then uh, the second thing is Movember itself. Uh, that's generated a lot of enthusiasm and interest from all of the group and the people around us. And uh, it just gives a bit of fun to something that's a really very, has a very serious side to it. So to the people who are participating in Movember, uh, might I say how much that means to us all. Not only are you supporting the young people in my lab, and that's terribly important for the future um, of people who have this disease. But um, really your money goes towards finding, uh, helping us find a cure for prostate cancer, or at least making the breakthrough that will lead to that cure. My current research uh, has a lot to do with using human patient tissue from prostate cancer patients themselves. We often go into the theatre and obtain some of their tissue specimens that's left over from the diagnosis. We bring it back here to the laboratory and we break it down into individual cell types. And the aim of our experiments is to try and understand which of those cell types actually starts the cancer. Which is the cell in the man's body that causes a cancer to form? And if we can understand that, then maybe we can make a means of trying to kill those cells and form a new uh, cure for prostate cancer. So the Young Investigator Grant actually pays my salary for the next four years. So instead of having to go out and write grants and applications to fund my position, I can actually just focus on the research and do the experiments that we've designed and we're set out to do in the next four years. So it gives me the luxury of stability and the time to focus on the research. So one of the highlights from November 2007 for me was when my brother was actually uh, growing a moustache for November and he asked me to donate to his cause. And he started asking questions about what the PCFA support and when he realised that his donations and the money that he was raising for November would come directly back to me as my salary for my job in researching prostate cancer, he was so excited and he actually enthused him to go out and raise a lot more money because he could understand where the money was going and the fact that he was, it was his sister was very exciting to him. In terms of uh, the Movember campaign and the, uh, and the PCFA, um, I guess I've had a, a couple of um, uh, significant impacts um, on my research. Um, obviously from a, from a funding perspective, um, they provide me with the opportunity to, to conduct our research. Um, and, and as I've mentioned, it's, it's quite novel in the sense that we're not based in the laboratory, whereas we're trying to take more of that um, 
uh, personalised approach to um, uh, research in, in prostate cancer. So um, discussing the, the disease with men, with health professionals and, and trying to tackle it uh, from that perspective. Uh, secondly, um, in terms of the Movember campaign, it's been quite quite fantastic in terms of raising the awareness of prostate cancer. Uh, quite, quite often when you're, when you're dealing with patients, whether it be clinical trials or, or various other public health campaigns, it's fairly difficult to recruit men, uh, particularly when, you, when you're talking about a disease such as prostate cancer, which, which can be um, uh, a little bit embarrassing for some men to talk about. So seeing campaigns such as Movember almost sort of breaks the ice and, and allows men to feel a little bit more comfortable uh, volunteering with the studies and, and helping um, to contribute um, on our research um, pathway. Beyond Blue's partnership with Movember is very important because it enables us to reach a group of the community about a health issue. In this case men, particularly young men, about a health issue being depression. And most men resist talking freely about health problems, relationship problems and financial issues. Movember allows us to talk to literally thousands upon thousands of men during the month of November and therefore they're a very valuable resource for us. I think Movember is probably one of the most successful community organisations in Australia. In the last two years, it's raised both for Beyond Blue and prostate cancer approximately $9 million each. That's a lot of money. And we have a very real responsibility as to how we spend it. So some of that min money, some millions, is spent in research with prostate cancer. Some of it is spent by allocating money to men's sheds. Uh, some of it uh, is used to establish or to fund our Beyond Blue information line. This is a line that we've established, manned not by volunteers but by professionals, to provide proper professional advice to men and women, but we're aiming it at men, wherever they live in Australia. So people in the bush can ring up our information line, 1300 224636, for the price of a local call and get information from a professional. And that costs a great deal of money, all funded now by our association with Movember. With the money we're spending it on men and depression across Australia, we're putting it into research with Prostate Cancer Foundation particularly, but also the cancer councils around the country looking at men's cancers and providing information about depression and cancer. We're also putting about a million dollars into men's sheds, letting them know that there's information they can have when they're attending the men's sheds on depression and where to go for help. We're putting about a million dollars into materials such as the Looking After Yourself book that's available available for every man in Australia and his family at no cost and we'll send it out to them whether they're living in Manangrida or Maidina. And we're also putting about a million dollars into Indigenous men's sheds. We've got a pilot underway at the moment, there are seven communities involved and if that goes well we'll assist the Cooperative Research Centre for Aboriginal Health to roll out those Indigenous men's sheds across Australia. So we're putting it to very good use. We're also looking at developing some information for people just after they've been diagnosed with prostate cancer. So while they might have everything they need to know about prostate cancer, we'd like to put some information there about how to look after your mental health as well, and particularly how you might be travelling once you've had a diagnosis of prostate cancer. And the Beyond Blue information line is essentially an information and referral line. So it provides information for people calling about depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder or postnatal depression and giving people high quality information about the conditions, where they can get help locally and also very important information for friends and family members who might be concerned about someone. The information line is an incredibly valuable service which is, being, is growing in use all the time. Last year we took over 32,000 calls alone and we're finding that that call rate is increasing by 350 to 400 calls a month, particularly at present. So the demand for the line has significantly increased over time and it's also reflected in the fact 
the importance of the line is reflected in the fact that um, around 50% of callers uh, who are using the line do not have access to the internet. So it's providing a very important role for people, particularly in rural and remote areas as well as in metropolitan areas and across Australia. Knowledge about depression is increasing, understanding and importantly stigma is reducing so people's attitudes towards those who might be experiencing depression is also uh, improving significantly over time.